Hi, this is Larry Schultz, and welcome to uh, my free tutorial on modeling a soccer ball. Um, this um, isn't too difficult, but it's a little can be a little time-consuming or tedious in a couple of areas. But there's probably other ways to do this, but this is a fairly direct way. Uh, let's go to the um, ball tool and let's hit N for numeric and uh, let's just give it a one meter radius all around like so and instead of being um, a standard globe consisting of um, quads let's change it to tessellated and leave it at a tessellation of three like so and let's hit shift A to um, fit the selected and then if you look we can see that this gives us the um, hexagons here and also these pentagons right below right here so what I'm going to do is sort of just go through here and let's change this to textured wire and I'm going to go through here and just sort of hunt down these um, pentagons here like so And then, um, as soon as we find them, I'm going to hit Shift Z, which is merges those polys into a single polygon, like so. And then just deselect them. And see, like these, these uh, six side, the six sided figures here. Shift Z. So you can see we start to get these um, built up. So merge those. Again, here's another one. So what you'll find is around each of these uh, pentagons, there's going to be these hexagon shaped ones okay so we got here like so and same thing you just find another one and around that so we just continue doing that at these like I said it's a little tedious but it's not horrible it would be more tedious if we had a ball that was more tessellated than this so get this one and then all of them that are surrounding it so each one of these hexagons is touching on each of the five sides of that um, pentagon here, like this one. So we get that. That as well. That as well. Okay, so when we're done. We're almost done. We've got these. And this one here. And 
think this might be the last one. Nope, one more. There's almost always one more somewhere. So we've got this. Okay, so um, a bunch of um, five and six sided end guns. And let's see, let's let's go in here and let's change this to wireframe. You notice we have some points in here that are sort of floating free. Uh, let's see what the, those are. Go to point, point mode, hit W for statistics. And see so we have about 31 points that are connected to no poly. So we select those and delete them. Now, this is kind of a quick way, quick and dirty way of doing this, but um, you'll sort of get the idea. I'm just going to come in here, select everything, and zoom in slightly. Hit B for bevel, and just do a slight outward bevel, and then bevel out and in slightly, out and in slightly. Okay, and one more slight bevel and straight in as close as you can get it. It doesn't matter if they overlap, whatever. Or this basically what we're doing is collapsing them, kind of. And then I'm going to hit M for merge and do fixed and give it like some large value like this. M for merge again and let's just increase this value. And let's see, make sure we're not doing anything weird here. Like here. Let me undo this, undo that, undo that. Let me undo this all the way back. There's always one you forget. Here we go. Merge that. Okay, so just take a good look again. Make sure there's nothing out of the ordinary there. So let's try this again. Select that. Select all of it. And B for bevel. And let's zoom in slightly. And again, bevel again, up and up. And one more bevel. And this time, start to in inset it more. And then one more. So let's collapse these to almost into a, as close as we can get to a single point. Like this. So we got these areas. See, they're, they're kind of not, some of them aren't collapsing to a single point, but they're pretty close. Let's hit M for merge. And we'll only merge the points in the selected polys. So. We don't have to worry, worry about it accidentally merging to stuff around it. And let's hit OK. And see it kind of, uh, we got a, a poly line there, you can see it. But most of the other ones are pretty well merged. So let's try it again. Merge one more time. Increase this value. There we go. And if we check around, we can see that this is pretty much um, looking okay. Then I'm going to hit Shift H, which is size, and slightly expand these out a little bit just to give some curvature back to those faces. And then deselect. And then uh, let's see.
let's go back here. Now, one thing, one more thing we can do is I'm going to hit Shift D. Excuse me, wrong one. Shift D, and let's subdivide it. Uh, faceted. Watch, and we can go from textured wire to smooth. And see, this is what we're getting right now. So it creates a fairly decent-ish looking soccer ball uh, without too much difficulty. But anyways, uh, hopefully this is useful for you, and uh, be sure to stay tuned to my YouTube site because I'm going to probably have some more other video tutorials coming up.